Hi everyone, Dorota Palicka, International Nail Artist and Educator here and today we are going to do some nice summery nail art. Have we preview of it in here? Really beautiful colors and I enjoy doing the summer nails. I hope you really enjoy watching this video too. So let's start. Leaf season. Yes, cameraman is gonna love it. Leaves again, but I love it. For summertime, you just have to go with it. And I have done this design on um, some clients and they loved it as well. Also, we are going to use this new Barefoot Freedom collection. I actually cannot wait to see what colors we've got in there. Oh my goodness, that looks exciting. Really exciting. Uh, because they are summer colors. So let's start with this one. No, I should do it in some sort of order first. Uh, there we are. So 258 is the Key West Sunset. Oh, that is so bright. Okay, let's use this one. <laughs> we definitely need, need this color in. I'm using a blooming gel now and we are going to create our background. So place the blooming gel in. Try to avoid the sides because like an, first of all it's an extra thickness and then you don't want the product to run too much into the sides. And then we are going to grab this 258 color and place it randomly. 50, 259 is para para paradise. Oh wow. That was that's my new favorite. That's my new favorite. <laughs> 260 is a blue one. That's a nice blue too. Yeah. 61. So that's a purple one. And yes, we was missing a little bit more intense purple, so I'm happy we've got it. And 262. Oh. Oh. That's so pretty too. That's so pretty too. Okay, we have done our beautiful background. Now dotting tool. And I'm just going to drag it through those colors. I mean, they are spreading on their own quite nice, but I will help them by going like in those swirly motion. Clean it up. Then drag this color through it, mix with the other ones. Clean it up. And then maybe go opposite direction. So I'm just grabbing a tiny bit of that color, going through the blue. There we are. Leave it for it to split and then introduce some other colors because I've got so many different ideas now. <laughs> oh, yellow. I need this bright yellow we've got. So 240 and a blooming gel. So slap it in. This is fun to do it always. And this pink, oh my goodness, I love it. And then where is my other favorite, new favorite? Where are you? The other pink, this one. Yes, I love this color combination. Okay, so this one I can cook it. And this one I can smudge it. This is always fun, you know, you get like um free the delivery and then your head is just screaming with the ideas smudge it nicely go opposite direction i love it even just like that guys even just like that isn't it it looks like a nice design <laughs> keep it in and then we are gonna use some black, so black foil design gel, but it's also awesome for painting. Pick up a small scoop of that, maybe bigger, because we are going to paint a couple more tree, uh, palm tree, palm tree leaves. So I want one in here because we've got quite empty space. So the palm tree leaves are much longer than the leaves we're painting for the autumn. And uh, that's the difference in between those leaves. Like, uh, I think it is really um, 
much nicer if in the summertime we use those type of leaves and then in the autumn time the leaves have a different shape um, so you know so the designs looks completely different um, in between the seasons okay and then I'm prolonging them like as much as I can really great cook it in I oh, love this one so much and on this one let's do here so again on different tip I will place it different if I will be doing it on a client nails um, what I love about this design is that you don't have to do it at on the entire set so what you would do is any from the color which we have used in here, uh, you could paint the entire set of the nails, then one nail like a ring finger or two nails, ring finger and a middle finger or those two nails. So index finger and the ring finger, you would paint it with your uh, design, but the other nails can be just uh, uh, one color and that will look fantastic. And it will flow as well because you've got the um, color in the background of this uh, nail as well. Cook it in. And then again, we are going to use some mixture. So I've got the high shine no white top gel with the drop of the white. Like this was the old top coat, like hardly any product in there actually. And I'm going to, that's why I need to twist the bottle like this so I can pick up the color. And I have created my own milky white. Okay, instead of buying like a separate product, I've got my own milky white. If you feel it like this one is not enough, I'm actually going to do it on front of you. Um, so what you can do is just dip in two more scoops or three more scoops of your white into your top coat. Mix it well. It's even maybe even better to go for a mm, more milky uh, color so you don't have to apply it as thick. And what it does is, so first of all, your leaves will look like they are... Mm, a shadow and it will also make your design more pastel-y uh, and blends everything more together okay so cook it in and then do the same with this one now because that is underneath we've got so underneath we've got the blooming gel we've got the background of the gel polish you can see it here I had some empty spaces uh, there are some bumps and I don't like it um, and also for the next part of the design, ideally you want to buff it. You don't have to. You could mix your white with the matte top coat to solve that issue, but then you will have those, all those extra thickness. And when we're working with the blooming gel, I find it like, um, even if you use a base gel instead of blooming gel, um, you do get those kind of uneven surface, like you can see it even here. I don't like those kind of stuff. I do prefer uh, give it a quick buff to it. And then we are going to take a buffer. They are mm, not comfy to paint, so sometimes when you paint, like your product can get stuck into the scratches, and I really don't like it. That's why the gray buffer um, is, is my preferred option. It's a slightly smoother one. Let me grab the stick. Flying everywhere. I don't want to hold it actually in my hands. It's always quicker to buff it because. I've got freshly done nails and they will be wrecked within a few days, like the joys of life of the nail technician. Now, because we have used the shiny top coat mixed with the white, I need to inspect it under the light is there is no shiny places left. I've got one here. The reason for it is for a next step, for a next step, if we are going to have those shiny places, uh, we will ruin our design. Okay, so be patient with it, buff it gently, do the same on the other one because it's ready. And here I've got the bulk of the product. If it does happen even on the client nails, what you could do is you could take a file and just go like that. Even if you file it through the design, to be honest, it will still look okay. Uh, but you're better off doing that than having like a bulky tip. I think it just doesn't look nice. And then buff this one as well quickly. Okay, and then once you're done, clean any dust particles, grab your brush again, and let's start finishing off this design. So here I'm searching for another places where I 
could put my leaves and I find it one in here. I don't want to cover this part because I feel like it's really nice. So I'm dragging my leaf into slightly different direction. Let's make empty gap in here. Here we are, just to kind of work around those nice places. Nice and wavy leaves. And with those leaves you're also covering up like any places where you had no background. I think it looks awesome. You don't want to cover the entire tip with the color. Tiny bit in here, but this one I want to go a little bit over our um, black one. I think that looks cool. And you know, as many backgrounds um, as you've got ideas for, you could use this design because we have done quite similar one, but um, completely different uh, background. And it looks so, so cool. Now we have to cure this tip <coughs> and the curing time is pretty important. You want to double cure. So the foil design gel cures in uh, about 30 seconds if you want to transfer a transfer foil over it. If you want to have it uh, for a chrome use, you would double cure it, like or even triple cure it, depending on your light. And um, ideally, I would say is do some testing, like you know, do it uh, on a one or two uh, samples, because depending on the thickness of the product, product cures slightly different time as well. So, like for me, it will cure different time uh, because my thickness is gonna be different, and also I'm using maybe a different equipment to you as well. Um, and this is a really significant, significant difference uh, when it comes to the timing. Okay, the last two. One in here. And the other one in there. I love doing those kind of summer sets for my clients. Always looking pretty and awesome. my tip is nicely cooking we are going to grab this chrome and the first tip and then wrap the chrome in so because we've got the matte surface the chrome is gonna only stick into our leaves the one which we have freshly painted and no other parts of the tip you can see that clearly here because uh, this is uh, another question which I get asked quite a lot. It's like, oh, my chrome stick in here and there. Because you didn't buff the tip and you have used maybe a shiny top coat. So the chrome did stick into the top coat as well. But mine design is nice and clean and it looks fantastic. So uh, top coat again. Like I even clean it, the excess of the chrome around it to make sure it's no on the other parts of our design. and then cure it. Apply it the same. They look nice just the way they are, but um, I think adding the scrum touch into it makes them look even better, much better actually. Okay, so that looks a little bit messy, but this scrum isn't stick in into the tip and I'm just going to clean it off like this. Any excess and almost polish it in, because if we polish like this, your chrome become more chromey. Um, I don't know, I find it like it's always mm, make your chrome look much shinier if you go like this. I, to be honest, the longer you play with it, the shinier it becomes. Because I think you're just kind of rubbing more of those particles into it and look like how nicely the light reflects, reflects it. There we are, absolutely perfect chromey look, like an unbelievable one. And even when we put the top coat over it, it enhances it, it further. 
And to be honest, like I think this is the easiest way to achieve a nice uh, golds or silvers. Uh, um, they are some ready-made like gels and silvers and golds, but I think they are never as nice as the the actual prom. And now I can show you all the three designs which we have created today. I have to make sure I clean any excess of the chrome from my finger from my fingers because if I would touch it, it would wrap in into the top coat I've got in here. I can even show you. Um, so if you're using the top coat, it will wrap in here as well. Okay. Uh, even the snails are a few days old and I have washed my hands so many times. <laughs> How do you clean that? How do I clean that? I just take a I tiny bit so. of the UV cleanser, yes. So the blue scrub would remove it faster, but the blue scrub is more yeah. harsh and I would be scared that it might affect the shyness, shine of my top coat. So UV cleanser is always a safer option uh, to clean out that mess okay and then we've got this new here another type of jungle kind of style nails because that's how I call them all those kind of animal prints blooming gels ombres underneath and leaves I call them jungle nails but they look awesome um, and you've got so many variations of those kind of designs, like endless possibilities. Look at this gold, like absolutely amazing. Sending you huge glittery hacks and bye for now.